So this past week, Google killed off its game streaming service that was called Stadia. And if you follow technology at all, I mean, seriously at all, like even just tangentially, you'll know that this is not a surprise to anyone. Like Google kills off approximately 95% of the products that they actually launch. It's not a good company when it comes to actually sticking with something for any period of time. Unless it's Android or search or ads, the product that Google launches is probably going to eventually be canceled because they cancel everything. So the fact that Google Stadia has been canceled is not a surprise to anyone and really doesn't deserve to be covered in any amount of depth. But I wanted to talk about some things that I've seen online over the last few days because there have been some talk over how this is bad for Lynx Gaming. Now, I, I, I racked my brain trying to figure out how this could possibly be bad for Linux Gaming because nobody used Google Stadia. And when I say nobody, I mean not a measurable amount of people, right? If a ton of people actually used Google Stadia, then Google wouldn't have canceled it. Well, I mean, they might have still canceled it because that's what they do. But from what we can tell, the reason why they canceled it is because nobody actually used the service. So... I don't really understand this argument that the death of Stadia is a bad thing for Linux gaming. And there are several reasons why I don't think it's possible. First of all is the big one that I just talked about. Nobody actually used Stadia. Again, with the asterisk that when I say nobody, I mean very few people. So that's the big one. But the other one is, is that when it comes to gaming on Linux, the big dog in the house was always Steam, right? If you want to play a game on Linux, there's about a 95% chance that you're going to be using Steam to do so. Uh, the other 5% is Lutris. I mean, those are the two big platforms when it comes to gaming on Linux. And both of them rely on Wine and Proton to do their thing in order to ensure that you can play Windows games on Linux. Those are the technologies that they use. Those are the platforms that everybody uses to play games on Linux. And those platforms and those technologies have become so good over the last two or three years that Linux doesn't really need game streaming in order to be a good operating system for gaming. It doesn't mean that there isn't a place for game streaming. It just means that Stadia was never going to be the savior of Linux gaming because Linux gaming didn't really need saving from Stadia. It already had a savior, and that savior was named Steam and Proton. So those people out there who are arguing that Stadia dying is a bad thing for Linux gaming, I don't really understand that argument, simply because I don't think it actually ever moved the needle on making gaming on Linux easier. Because... Most people, again, are going to be playing their games on Steam. Now, there are situations where a game streaming service does make sense on Linux. So if the game's not available on Steam, or perhaps it's it's something that just doesn't really run all that well in Proton, which is those titles definitely do exist. I mean, there's tons of them, actually. Or maybe it has some kind of anti-cheat or something like that. A game streaming service then would allow people to play those games where they wouldn't otherwise necessarily be able to do so. So game streaming does have its place, but it was never going to be Stadia, simply because Stadia was bad. When it first launched, the experience was bad, but also people don't want to have to pay for their games and then have it locked into a service. Now, people don't mind paying for games. Obviously, we can tell that by the fact that the game industry is this multi-billion dollar industry, but people don't want to buy games and then be locked down to Google services. Now, it's not necessarily even the lock-in idea in general that turned a lot of people away. It was the fact that you were locked into a Google service because people know, even if they only follow Google, you know, in the broadest sense, they know that Google cancels stuff all the time. This was a idea right from the beginning of Stadia. Everybody knew that eventually Stadia was going to die. I mean, it was just, it was inevitable. It didn't matter how successful it was, how good it was, how many people bought into it. Eventually, Google was just not going to want to do it anymore, and they were going to cancel it. That was the thing. So people didn't want to invest hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands of dollars, into a game library onto a service that was very likely to be canceled in a couple of years. And here we are a couple of years later, and Stadia is gone. So good call, everybody. And on top of that, of course, that there are other game streaming services out there that did a much better job. So the NVIDIA offering 
seems to be a very good service for a lot of people who want to use their games on Linux. It not only allows you to tie into your Steam library, but also a collection of games offered by NVIDIA for subscription fee, right? Same thing with Microsoft xCloud. Now, while xCloud is probably not very much of a Linux thing because you have to pretty much use Edge in order to use it and it's very much tied into the Microsoft ecosystem, it's still a service where you pay money and you get access to a whole bunch of games. Whereas with the Stadia stuff, yes, you had some access to free games, but the for the most part, you had to pay for each individual game and it was kind of locked into that one particular service. So the competition for Stadia was always going to be better. Microsoft, whatever you think of them, which most of that stuff is going to be fair, they know their games, okay? They know how to create an ecosystem for people to play games because they do Xbox. So the Xbox Games Pass thing is a really good deal. You get a lot of games for a small amount of money a month or whatever it is. And it, because that exists, they were able to take that infrastructure and move it into xCloud. Now, I don't know if xCloud has been any more of a success than Stadia was, but it has, from my lim limited experience and from the people I've talked to, been a better experience for gamers than Stadia ever was. So at the end of the day, Stadia was never going to be the savior of Linux gaming. It was doomed from the start, even outside of the Linux sphere, for different reasons, but it was never going to be that popular on Linux for many reasons. The biggest one being that it didn't, re it wasn't really needed, right? Steam was the thing, and the vast majority of games that people want to play seem to be on Steam, or they have, or there are other options to get those games. Things like Lutris and the Heroic Game Launcher, things like that. So Stadia is gone. Most people don't care, and I don't think that it is as a blow to Linux gaming as some people are making it out to be. So that is it for this video. If you have comments on Stadia, you can leave those comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you're a big fan of Stadia and you're upset that it's gone. I'd love to hear from you. I would be surprised if there's anybody who's really upset about Stadia, but maybe there is, and I just don't know that. So uh, comments in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing people. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. Thanks to everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.